They're actually very beautiful animals. Um, the pure wild boar, um, we, we, we still get stra strains of pure wild boar, but then um, some of them are hybridized with, uh, bit hybridized with domestic uh, feral pigs. So some of them has got spots, but the original wild boar is a beautiful animal. It's got long, longer legs than a, a feral pig and a small shallow body, quite a long, um, up to 1.5 meters long, the large boars. Um, we, we did find, uh, found uh, rub marks, rubbing marks against the trees of up to 1.2 meters, so they can get quite big. Um, um, they, in the past, um, some boars were shot of over 200 kilograms. The forestry departments um, had problems with the, the pine moth that destroyed the, the pine trees in the plantations. And one of the phases is the pupae phase that, that is under the leaves of the, the pine trees. And these um, pigs were introduced from Europe to co try and control the pupae phase um, um, and, and, and try and, and dig them out and, and destroy them. It was in the mid-1930s. Uh, but, as sometimes happens when introducing foreign animals, the newcomers quickly became problem animals. Against expectation, the obliques like Eurasian boars left the plantations they were brought in to help with. Over the past 70 or 80 years, they've prospered and spread to critically endangered Renosterfeld area. They also regularly cross swords with wine and wheat farmers in Franschhoek and around Wellington. In Hermon, between Wellington and Porterville, we met Rian van der Walt, a marksman who on full moon nights hunts these nocturnal and shy animals on behalf of fed up farmers. Where is the big pressure coming from to do something about these animals? Is it from a conservation point of view or from an agricultural point of view? I think both. Um, um, uh, from a conservation point of view, we, we were aware of these animals for, for quite some time. Um, the numbers are definitely increasing. And because they are, they, they, they are um, uh, repopulating new areas, I think farmers are very much aware of these animals, especially in new distribution areas. And they've got a major impact on, on, on the agricultural sector. Um, they target, um, um, they target wheat, um, they target um, vegetables, um, fruit trees, and especially the grape farmers. They they do target the, the, the table grapes as well as the wine grapes, and um, they've got massive impacts on, on those financial impacts. Cape Nature wants to, to introduce a total eradication plan to get rid of these animals. We can't afford uh, to, to have them in, in, in our sensitive areas and, and live. We can't live with the damage that they do to our natural environment. So we would like to totally eradicate them, um, but this will follow a, a public participation process.